In this video, we're going to look at how to use Explain EDU to create instructional videos for your students. Now, this app is available in self-service. You can see it right here. It is a white app. I've already got it installed. When you open it, you're faced with the dashboard, and there's some options here, but we are just going to do New. And what these give you is a blank whiteboard canvas. And you can have several different things on this canvas at once. So right away you notice that there are some pen and pencil tools and I can draw on the screen. I can undo down here. Uh, we can also add images or videos or even snapshots of web pages. So I'm going to grab an existing image. I've got a photo here I'm going to use. I can resize it, I can twist it, I can crop it if I want to. I'm just going to leave it like this and press done and it puts it onto my canvas. And now I can move this around. I can also zoom in again if I want to. And the benefit of this is that maybe I need to give some interaction and I need, I need to diagram as I'm working. So rather than using a static slideshow, I'm going to use explain edu, import some images to my screen, grab a pen tool, and then I can annotate while I'm recording. Down at the bottom of the screen, there's a record button. Now, this record button will record your screen and any drawings you make while you're talking on the screen. And again, this is an added benefit because now I can explain and diagram to my students while I'm teaching as if they were right here next to me. So when you record, it asks for access to the microphone, and then it starts recording. It's counting down, down here at the bottom. I can draw on the screen and I can say this is an iPad and I can even zoom in and it keeps the arrow locked to the same place. So you can do this on the fly. If you need some more space, there's a plus button in the bottom right. I can add a new page and I can continue to draw and describe and explain what I want to. You can also set up several slides ahead of time. So before you even start recording, you can set up multiple images as if you were building a slideshow. When you're done, push the stop button and we can see our recording here. You can rewind and look at annotations that are made. I can go back to the first page and look at my annotations. Here's my zoom and my drawing. But mainly what you do when you're done is you want to get it out. So we're going to export this. So if you tap the share arrow up in the top right, it will save the project and ask what you want to do with it. We're going to export a video and I recommend saving it to your photos. That gives you a blank space or it gives you a perfect project that you can use. You don't have to keep the project file. And now I have this video stored on my iPad. You sometimes run into problems exporting it directly to something like Google Drive or YouTube. So saving it to your photos will prevent those issues. And then when you're done, you can go to your photos and export that video to Google Drive for linking in Seesaw or Canvas. So that's a very quick intro to explain EDU. If you need more help, we have links below. Thanks for watching.